One well, of my little five horse Briggs is kind of buried back there. See if I can dig it out and start it up. Although I wouldn't recommend this repair, I can't believe how long it's held up. That's a self-drilling screw with a rubber seal around it. Screwed it into the gas tank after it was punctured and something hit it. I can't remember what it was. Screwed it in there just like uh, in one of these Kubota tires here. We put a nail in or a screw in one. Of, there it is. It's leaking a little bit. But we put a screw in it to stop the leak and it worked for quite a while. Same thing with this. Again, I would not recommend that method of repair, but it does work. Anybody want some Corvette tires? New, this is an $1,800 set right here. They're a little worn. Not down to the, well, yeah, down to the wear indicators here. But these back ones still got some decent tread. All right, I have officially, yes, did you hear that? Officially, oh, there we go. I have officially decided this is official, you know, this is coming from the main editor, creator of the program, officially got that? Yeah? Well, that was lame. I've decided to weld a socket onto the crankshaft there, so that way it doesn't fly off every time I start this engine up. So I got this old... Lincoln Electric Welder here, Arc Welder. I'm gonna do me a little bit of welding. This'll be a little difficult, but I think I can do it. I got a socket slightly bigger, 16 point socket. That's slightly bigger than the nut that's on there. So, it's staying in the same position. It's pretty much centered exactly, so I won't get any vibration in even if it's a little bit off it's pretty much centered and any uh, vertical or horizontal movement that would cause a vibration isn't going to be much at all and <laughs> shoot in the long run what do I care anyway Alright, I'm going to start off with about 75 amps. That's usually a good place to start. This is a little tricky. expert I am still just a beginner I know the basics but I am no expert nor do I claim to be and this video is pure proof
Well, that's a little bit better. Well, that's a very sloppy welding job, but it'll work for this. This does not have to be perfect. I'm going to rotate the crank about 180 and put some more weld on the other side for balance. don't have uh, much left here. Yeah, that ought to work. That socket stayed pretty well centered. We'll find out how well I did after I fire it up.